Airbnb is an online marketplace for home sharing. When booking a home, it all starts here in the search bar. You enter the location of your trip and you're guided to the results page. The page has a map and filters that help narrow down your search space. But even then, browsing through tens of thousands of listings in Paris is just not viable. That is why we use a sophisticated search ranking model that takes in all the candidates and outputs a ranked list of listings, thus deciding which ones show up on the first page, on the second page, and so on. The search ranking model uses more than 100 different signals, including listing and guest features. And in this paper, we present our recent work of adding new real-time personalization features to the ranking model, which are based on short-term user history. It works like this. As the user proceeds with its search, we log the short-term history, clicks on listings, and skips. These are highly ranked listings that we ignored and skipped in favor of clicking on a lower position listing. And then we use the similarity between listings user clicked and skipped and the candidate listings that need to be ranked to be able to rank higher listings similar to the ones you clicked and rank lower listings similar to the ones you skipped. But then a question arises. How do we represent a listing in a machine-readable format such that we can measure these similarities that we are talking about. One obvious way is to use structured data about a listing and represent it using one-hot encoding. Another way is to represent a listing using an embedding, where each vector dimension doesn't really have any meaning and the vector is learned using training data. In our case, the training data are search sections. These are simply actions by a single user, for example, IDs of listings that were clicked, ordered in time. Now, let's show a toy example of how embeddings are learned. Let's imagine that embeddings are two-dimensional, just like balls on a football field. We initialize them randomly, and then we update them using certain rules. We slide the window and we update the position of embeddings such that we push toward one another listings that are within the same window and we sample a random listing and push it away. Why? Because it's likely not related. We slide the window again and repeat this process until we are done reading through all the sessions. And by this I mean hundreds of millions of search sessions. In the end, we'll have embeddings and we'll be able to calculate similarities between any two listings. Now, this was a toy example. In our paper, we outline original contributions and adaptations to the training algorithm that helped us greatly enhance the quality and predictability of embeddings. We also developed an embedding evaluation tool to be able to examine the quality of the embeddings firsthand. What it does is as follows. We can enter an ID of a listing and we can observe what the algorithm found for its most similar listings in the embedding space. 
as you can see if we enter a tree house all the most similar listings in the embedding space the nearest neighbors are also tree houses it also works for castles by entering a castle we look up its embedding and the k nearest neighbors in the embedding space are also castle it's like magic let's try one more beachfront properties the first application of our work that was launched into production was for real-time personalization based on short-term history signals and the second application of our work that was launched into production was on similar listing recommendations let me demonstrate as you search you may find a listing you like you can click on it and you're taken to the listing page the listing page contains info about that listing such as calendar and the reviews it also contains a carousel with similar listing recommendations now these are computed using similarities in our listing embedding space and as you can observe the listing embeddings encode architectural similarity very well.